Hello YouTube, this is Salam. I would like to start this video by thanking everybody who subscribed and liked my video. Thank you very much. That means a lot to me. And I would like to invite everybody watching these videos to like and subscribe and share these videos and also comment uh, and uh, give me any suggestions so I could improve future videos. Uh, this clip is going to be uh, posted on two videos. This one and the next one or this one and the one before. Uh, the reason for that when I rebuilt this backhoe uh, hydraulic cylinders I was confused about uh, if they call this cylinder the crowd cylinder and this one the boom cylinder. I got this uh, from the part list I got from John Deere. John Deere they gave me a quote on these cylinders and show uh, the part kit that fit this one as the crowd cylinder and this one as the boom cylinder. I don't think it's right. I think this is the boom and this is uh, the, the crowd or the dipper. So if uh, the title of this video is not right, just watch next video or watch the video before. Uh, thank you for watching. Please enjoy this video.
I kept hitting it with the hammer drill until I saw it move. It's move about eighth of inch, and then when I was able to break it with this. I'm going to have to move this pipe because I can't get leverage with the wrench. It won't actually fit. Stop right here. So I need to get to the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and remove both of these. So when I'm ready to tie uh, the knot, I have room. These over here, they for the auxiliary hydraulic line. I disconnected these pipes and I was able to pull them out. They clear. And this one is loose. I was able to lift the crotch cylinder with this piece of wood and hold it with strap. Hopefully I'll be able to pull it out. I'll see. It was a clean, no rust. I blew it with air and I installed the half ring. I'm ready to pull it out. I don't have enough room to pull the crowd cylinder rod out. It's gonna touch over there. The cylinder all the way up and I don't have any more room. This is fully enclosed beam. So even if I pull this back pin out, I won't be able to do anything. I think the best option, if somebody wanna do a similar thing, is to dig a hole as deep as the beam will go down and do the cylinder first, or if you only have to do the cylinder, because it will clear then, it will come straight up. However, in my situation, I already have all the line busted and all the oil out. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift the bucket, remove these two stand, let it go as far down as possible. Of course, after I push this rod back in, so, in case a drop or anything, it won't bend the rod. I'll push it in and then I will drop it down from there. And then I'm gonna come here and disconnect these two pins after I hold it with the tractor and then lift it up slowly till I clear the rod. I'm also, before I do any of this, I'm gonna build some sort of assembly over here to prevent the beam from tilting side to side because after I disconnected it from here, this is gonna create a safe situation. And I will show you the process tomorrow. I pushed the rod in so it doesn't get damaged. Tractor was able to uh, lift the boom and pull it away. Everything assembled. I took one of the hoses and I looped it from here to the other side for the auxiliary so it doesn't want to enter the oil line or the hydraulic line. And I did the same thing over here. All the hoses installed so I don't have to worry about any dust getting into the lines. I'm ready to start digging. Even if I dig a hole about three, four feet deep and I swing the boom back in and the rod won't come off, it still be safer. So when I disconnect the pins, down there, it won't tilt side to side. It's probably gonna take same amount to build contraption to keep the beam from falling Did with digging a hole. This is sandy loam, so it should go easy. I also thought to dig it this way and work on it so the rod will come off this way. However, I'm gonna go ahead and take all the cylinders out 
just in case the kit I bought won't fit because I have the situation with the loader uh, cylinder it's gonna clear now I'm not putting too much tension on it so I don't break that mirror bracket and I'm tightening the nut over here I have the installation ring installed and I rack it back and forth it feels like it's about to come off finally it came out took about 15 minutes of fighting the idea is to keep it straight pulling it out straight not at an angle and keep rocking it back and forth I'm gonna try to use this to lose this one this rod when I pull it out and the dipper rod I welded the socket on this bracket on the other side and I just leaned down on it with the tractor and it broke loose I ordered the rod kit for the crowd cylinder. I also decided to go ahead and replace both rods for the stabilizers because they lost the chrome and they have dimples on them, this side and the other side. I thought originally to just polish them. However, I found good deal on them too. So I'm waiting for those. What I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna take the other swing and this is stabilizer out, clean them and have them ready till when I get the rod and the kit for the other one. Once you have it out and clean, it won't take but 20 minutes to put back together. So the hardest part is to take this nut, push the gland in, take the ring and clean, sandy clean uh, all the rust if there is any inside this so everything will come out easy. Also, since I pulled this out and I left for that day, I made sure to leave all the hoses in so if it rains, water won't get inside.
doing the crowd and the two stabilizer. This is just an old hydraulic oil, nothing special. I have them ready, I already installed the rubber ring and the, I don't know what they call this. It's about 160 degrees or so. Everything clean, all the rings on. This one over here is uh, special. They have this contraption over here and the nut go on the rod like this the nut spring and flange are called the hydraulic cylinder cushion their purpose is to decelerate the rod near the end of stroke this is how it came out the nut go on the rod and this has a guide inside and this spring I made sure the thread is clean. And I'm ready to install it on the rod. It's completely assembled. The nut is tied. I put all my power on this homemade wrench. It's good to go. I put tie wrap on the cast iron ring. So it will go easy and I'm ready to put it in. I have to climb on the swing tower and push the rod down. Hold this here, please.
pick the rod up a little bit. Pick up more. I have to pull the rod up Actually, I didn't have to pull the rod up. What I did, I stuck a small screwdriver and pry on the thread just a little bit and it came out. I'm gonna pull it all the way up and then I'll pack it with the grease. I packed it with the uh, marine grade anti seize and I put the installation ring. It's buried in that uh, anti seize. 